local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Nice calm week in the weather world, and that's how things are going to stay here even as we head into the weekend. Look at all this sunshine, giving you live looks in Roanoke, Blacksburg, and Martinsville. We're at 67 in Roanoke, Blacksburg. You're at 64, Martinsville in the upper 60s, and nowhere to go but up from there. So enjoy it. Get outside, get some fresh air. I know it's been a stressful week for some of us, but make sure you take advantage of uh, the nice weather that we're going to continue to have courtesy of high pressure. That's going to continue to sit over the eastern U.S. Keep things warm through the weekend, keeping things very nice this evening. Maybe do some grilling out temperatures in the low to mid 70s around 4 p.m. A lot of us in the 60s by 6 p.m. just because the sun sets a little earlier now these days. We're near 60 even still by 8 p.m. And there's high pressure. You see it not moving much, but this is kind of an important part in our forecast, not just because it's going to keep things warm and dry, but it's going to keep Ada, the tropical system, well to our south, even into next week. The next thing that's really going to give us some rain is a cold front that's off toward the west, but that doesn't arrive until Wednesday. So let's look ahead at the next three days for the New River Valley. We're in the upper 60s each afternoon. More of a mix of clouds and sunshine, minimal rain chances. Temperatures even at night starting to come up a little bit. For the Highlands, upper 60s and lower 70s here the next three days. Again, mix of clouds and sunshine. Overnight temperatures coming up just a little bit. And for Southside, naturally, you're lower in elevation, so temperatures coming up for us. We're in the low to mid 70s throughout the weekend and into early next week. But once again, you see overnight lows coming up just a little bit. The reason is because of humidity levels. They're going to start to increase now. It's not going to feel like July out there, but it isn't necessarily going to feel like early to mid November. So while we're comfortable out there today, we notice humidity levels coming up just a little bit Saturday and then a little bit more by Sunday and by Monday. So when dew points or moisture levels are that high, temperatures can't come all down all that much at night. In fact, by next Wednesday morning, we could be waking up with temperatures in the lower 60s. Some of that has to do with Ada. Right now you see it kind of uh, blossoming a little bit more as it's getting back into the Caribbean waters, and it's going to continue to strengthen to a tropical storm. Now it affects Cuba by Sunday. Here's Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday mornings. You see it's not going to move all that much. Again, high pressure kind of suppressing it farther to the south. So we start to see a little bit of moisture coming in off the eastern side of it by Tuesday night into Wednesday and possibly some remnant rain from the storm itself by next Friday. So this could very well be the 12th storm to make landfall in the US this season, maybe even the ninth landfall on the Gulf Coast, which is just unfair. But this could actually be the eighth storm this season to give us remnant rain. We'll keep you posted on timing and totals and things of that nature as we head throughout the next week. For the Roanoke Valley, though, things looking great for you, especially as we head through the weekend. You'll see that blend of clouds and sunshine and temperatures in the low to mid 70s by Monday. Upper 60s and lower 70s could see a few showers, especially later in the day. Tuesday as we start to get a little moisture from Ada and that cold front I was just showing you by Wednesday, looking at the chance for even some thunderstorms as we warm up into the 70s and the chance for rain lingering as we head into Thursday of next week. And for the NRV, looking at temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees here the next several days. We'll keep it in the upper 60s for you as we head through next week. But once again, look at overnight lows. Temperatures only falling into the 50s. That just goes to show a sign of the little bit of humidity that we're going to be dealing with. That's going to help uh, aid our rain chances as we head into next week. So bottle it up right now. We've had plenty of uh, nice days in the past. We've got plenty coming toward us. Just got to watch out for pretty soaking rain at times next week.